Hi, this is Curtis of the digitalphotocoach.com and I'm going to show you how to optimize an image for your smartphone so that you have maximum resolution without wasting memory with a file bigger than needed. We're looking at a picture that I would like to put on my smartphone. I prepared the file for a different use so it's quite a bit bigger than I need to fill the screen on the phone and using a file size this big on the phone would just be a, a waste of its memory. So I'm going to resize it and make it actually fit the uh, actual dimensions of the phone screen. Before I started this, I went to the internet and looked up the specifications for my screen. It's an iPhone 4 and the screen dimensions are 640 by 960 pixels at 326 pixels per inch. So I'm going to make a, an image that's that size to use on the phone. I'm going to start out by creating a nice white background that I can put around, uh, put this picture on so that I'll have a nice border. So I start by using File and New and I'm going to give the dimensions I want. First of all, I'm going to change this from inches to pixels and I need one that is um, 640 pixels wide and 960 pixels high and a screen resolution of 326 uh, 8 bit RGB color with a white background. So I can just click OK and it will prepare that background for me. And there it is. Now I can go to the picture. I'm just going to open it. And I'm going to resize this with the crop tool. So I'll make sure the crop tool is selected. And I'm going to change this to the dimensions using the menu here for the crop tool to the dimensions I want it to be. And the last time I had an 8 by 10 which is really quite a bit bigger than I need for this phone. So I'm just going to change it to 600 pixels, not inches, PX. And this one to 920 again pixels and the resolution at 326 pixels per inch. So now I am ready to crop. The reason I went to 600 and 920, which is smaller than the screen dimensions, is that will leave me 20 pixels all the way around the uh, picture to use for the border. So let's crop it. Start in the lower right. You can start wherever you want. I'm starting there because I want to decide how much of this picture I'm going to use. With the crop tool it's easy to make adjustments and I can look and decide how much of the picture I want to use. And I can see here if I were to crop it now I would get what's lying inside this uh, dotted line. Maybe that's not quite enough. Maybe I'll go a little bit bigger. Um, I kind of like that. But if I didn't like it I could just press the escape key and start over. So I did that and let's do it again and I think I'm gonna go maybe about there so at least so I have some of my watermark showing and I can release the cursor then and if I press the enter key it'll perform the crop. Uh, this is a little small and on the screen just make it larger so you can see it and I'm going to select all of the image and then go to the edit menu and copy it and now I'm going to go to the white background and window and I think that is this one here untitled 2 and edit and paste and that will put the bug right in the center of the picture and you see I have this nice white border. I can dress it up a little bit more uh, by going to the layer styles. So I can go to layer style and put a drop shadow on it. And the menu will come up here in a moment. And uh, I'm going to say, well I like this angle, 120. Um, and I'm going to move this down a little bit so we can see what it looks like because we are previewing. And you notice if I click this off the shadow that's around the picture disappears. So I'm going to make it just a, spread out a little bit more 
and give it a little bit larger size. And there, I kind of like that. And here it is without, here it is with it. So I'll say OK. OK, so now we need to save this. And I'll go to File and choose not save, but save as. If I choose save, it's just going to give it the same name and it's going to overwrite uh, anything else that I've done. So I want to do save as so I can give it a new name. And I'm going to choose bug again for it. For phone. And I'm going to change the extension to JPEG, which will give me a much smaller file. And I can click Save. And it opens the dialog, and I can choose the quality. The trade-off on quality here is in some file size. If I want to have less quality, I can get a much smaller file size. But I don't. This is going to be on my phone. I'm going to show it to people. They're going to know it's my picture, and I want them to take, think I take good pictures. So I'm going to leave the quality high. And I'll say OK. And just click on it. And it's done. Thank you for watching. You'll find more tips and tutorials for photography at thedigitalphotocoach.com.